Hi, I'm Michelle Fitzgerald with the Sensar Learning Center, and today I'm talking with you from a very special spot in northern Arizona called Page Springs. And I'm at a, a, an even more special spot today uh, called Cave Spring at the Arizona Fish and Game Fish Hatchery here in Page Springs. The reason I'm at this spot and I'm sharing this information with you today is um, just to want to teach you a little bit about uh, naturally occurring power spots and some of the things that create them. A naturally occurring power spot is a, a place on the planet where there's a, a, a like a super, super uh, vitalization of the earth forces and the forces of nature that are hugely vitalizing to all life, including human life. And um, natural springs, there's many, many different types of natural phenomena that create uh, these power spots around the globe. But one of the things that consistently creates highly beneficial, highly vital power spots are natural springs. So here at Cave Spring, this is what I call a super, super duper uh, natural power spot because this spring and a couple of others that bubble forth um, from deep, from a very, very deep aquifer underground uh, that, that stretches clear to the Colorado Plateau. Um, the water travels, it's incredibly clean, it's thousands of years old, and bubbles forth at certain points. This is one of them, and the bubbling forth here uh, is, is to the tune of about 15 million gallons of water a day. So a huge amount of, of this pure, pristine natural energy, this water force and all its vitality is coming to the surface of the earth at this point. Where and when that occurs, you do get this, this, this radiation effect that goes far beyond just the immediate presence of where the spring bubbles forth. And uh, at this particular, I've not doused this, but at this particular spring, um, the energy zone that is affected by the vitalization, the, the subtle vital energy of just this one spot, one, two, three, about four miles <laughs> is, is the, the impact of, uh, it, you know, it will be in less and le lessening degrees the further away from the spring you get, but the impact of the vital force of the stream is stretching out on a subtle energy level four miles or more. That's pretty amazing. Now I tell you this because you've heard me talk before if you've watched any of my videos. I have a number of videos on underground water and some of the negative health effects of doing things like sleeping over underground water. I've talked about how underground water streams can play a role in creating what are called geopathic zones which are not good for health and well-being and so I encourage you to watch those videos and learn more about that. But I want to add to those videos today with a positive note in that underground water is hugely important to our planet. It's the lifeblood of our planet and there are many many positive aspects of underground water as well. For example, when the underground water finds a way to the surface and creates a spring. Whether it's an active spring like this where you actually see the water there is another type of situation that's very powerful in the subtle energy, uh, from a subtle energy perspective, where water is trying to get to the surface and it can't quite get there. It hits bedrock and it'll split out into a variety of small streams. That's called a blind spring. And whether it's a blind spring that cannot get to the surface or a natural spring that has in fact made it to the surface, you're going to have an incredibly, incredibly vital place. You can see all around me the beautiful trees. Now, the trees are beautiful. They'd, they'd be here anyway because there's lots of underground water. That's one of the big benefits of underground water. But they're especially healthy, especially happy trees because of this, this spring. Uh, I encourage you to seek out natural springs in your area. One of the things you can do if you can find a natural spring, it may not be a 15 million gallon a day natural spring, but any natural spring um, should have a, a heightened level of subtle energy vitality that can actually help you feel better, can actually boost your own energy level, uh, accomplish things like ha helping you heal faster after surgery. Many of you have probably heard of holy wells. Um, I visit Ireland very often and there are many, many holy wells there with legends of 
you know, people going and having these miraculous healings there, uh, miraculous uh, recoveries, you know, from deadly illnesses, all that type of thing. And, you know, they, there's so many legends that my feeling is there, there has to be some truth to that. And um, I visited so many of these places and including this place right here, I can tell you there is some kind of major energetic difference at these places where natural springs bubble up. Holy wells are nothing more there than places where there are natural springs that have come to the surface and the water is being captured, either in a natural alcove or a man-made well-type structure. But that's what a holy well is. They were considered sacred and blessed places. They have been considered sacred and blessed places throughout history, recorded history, and they exist all over the world. Uh, water is so crucially important that our, to our well-being. I mean, we need to drink water or we can't survive for long. So natural springs in ancient days were so valuable to people who were trying to survive. If they could find a natural spring, it was a source of water that was guaranteed to be pure because they come from deep, deep, deep water sources uh, that they could drink, they could feed their animals, that type of thing. But if you find a, if you'll do some research and find the natural springs that are near where you live, and if you'll go and spend some time there, it's a great place to help boost your vitality, again, to help you heal heal if you need some physical healing. Uh, also for manifestation. Uh, most of you know I do a lot of uh, seminars on manifestation uh, activities, you know, law of attraction stuff and way beyond that. But how we manifest our life circumstances, if you have a particular goal that you're working on and you really want to give your own intention a big punch, a big booster shot, go do your intentional focus. Go do your affirmations and your focused intention exercises, your visualization exercises at a natural spring site. It will amplify your own thoughts and feelings and give you a tremendous amount of extra power with those manifestation juices that you've got. So I wanted to share this with you today. I'm going to show you now the, the Cave Spring, the actual water source, and then I'll say goodbye. But uh, Cave Spring, Arizona, if you ever get here, uh, every year I do a, uh, an event called the Sedona Gathering, and every year at those events we come here for at least a short stop so the students can experience what it's like to actually uh, be near a power spot of this magnitude. So here you go, Cave Spring. I'm tangled up on a plant, <laughs> so you're seeing <laughs> I'm in a kind of a wooded area. There you go. There's Cave Spring. Isn't that something? Look at that water. Again, 15 million gallons of water a day, which is pretty amazing. This is a very, very prosperous spring. The water temperature here is 68 degrees always and they use the water at the hatchery to breed the fish. The water is so perfect, so clean, and the temperature is so ideal for the fish that they actually mature much faster than fish at hatcheries that don't have this type of natural water source. Of course, they probably don't realize that it also has something to do with the amazing vital force uh, that is simply generated on a subtle energy level from a place like this. But whatever causes it, the fish grow faster, they're able to be released sooner, uh, the plants and the trees are incredibly, incredibly healthy. And again, when I, whenever I need a booster shot, this is exactly where I come. So Cave Spring in uh, Page Springs in Northern Arizona. Bye for now.